Hey guys, uh, Crypto Spacey here. Um, today, let's talk about uh, Instant Node. This is a new Node project on uh, BSC ecosystem, which is uh, it's going to produce a passive income of up to seven percent daily APR. So, before we get into the details, uh, I would like to mention this. So, going forward, uh, I'm planning to make uh, two types of videos. The so one is um, node introduction video where I will uh, go through the node project quickly. The objective is to bring the node uh, project to you guys ASAP. And the second type is the node the deep dive project where I will cover the rating, the ROI, my price prediction and my investment strategy. So this deep dive video I'll make based on the request from the viewers that is the, you guys or if I feel the project is uh, needs deep dive, I will make the video. So with that, uh, let's get into the instant node. So and also on a parallel note, um, I would like to call out on the honey token, uh, Hive Investments. So as we had discussed, um, if you guys followed my strategy of buying the token in the initial dip, if you see that uh, the honey token went down to $75, and the max it reached around um, $300, correct? So you would have made around close to 3x of your money. Of course, there was a 45% of uh, sell tax. Even with that, uh, you would have made easily 2x. So hopefully, uh, some of you might have already uh, bought the token at a good price. Congratulations to everyone. And um, so let's discuss this um, instant node. So we have a white paper and I will be going through the white paper details here. And uh, as we discussed, uh, this is a new node project on um, BSC chain and uh, the token name is INNT and they mentioned initially that 7% uh, is the daily APR and uh, 60 is their um, number of nodes you can have for wallet and coming to their uh, node types, um, they have uh, three types of nodes. The first one is diamond ring that is the lowest tier which uh, requires 20 tokens to create it. With, uh, which gives you 5% daily APR. The second tier is the diamond, which requires 60 tokens, which gives you 6% daily APR. And their highest tier is called a diamond planet, which requires 180 tokens to create uh, the node, and which gives you the 7% daily APR. And uh, what is their vision, or how they plan to run the project or make this project uh, sustainable or long-term success right the one is they are planning to do focus on the sustainability they try to accomplish this by the different types of taxes so there are they have two different types of taxes one is the claim tax which is 15 percent they also have a sale tax which uh, varies from 20 percent to 5 percent and uh, coming to the scalability, that means uh, you have the option to upgrade your uh, lower tier nodes to the uh, higher uh, tier nodes. That's uh, good. And uh, coming to utility of the token, uh, they plan to have the RPC endpoints and also they plan to have their own uh, validator node. And uh, whatever the reward they get it from the validator node, they plan to reinvest back into the protocol. That's good. They have some uh, utility for the token. It's good news. Coming to the token itself, um, the token as we discussed, it's the INNT, the max supply is uh, 1 million and the distribution, they plan to give 5%, that is 50,000 tokens to the team and uh, for the public pre-sale, they plan to put it 200k, that is 20% and rest 75%, they plan to put it in the reward pool. So this seems to be in the normal range and let's understand the vesting. You see that uh, 50,000 tokens for the team. For up to 21 days, the team cannot sell the token and also whenever they want to sell after 21 days, they have a restriction of 2000 tokens per day. This is good. So that way we don't see the massive dump from the team itself. And as I mentioned, the sell tax, they have a 20% sell tax on the day one and it kind of decreases, uh, but it comes to 5% sell tax. And um, if I scroll down. Uh, and they about the pre-sale information, uh, they have the public pre-sale, which they have uh, planning to sell uh, 200k of their native tokens. And the sale price is a dollar. Of course, you need to use the BNB to buy the token. And uh, that will be 
uh, I think the link will be provided in the announcement channel. And uh, soft cap and hard cap is fine at the BNB they plan to raise. And uh, how much you can buy, you can minimum, you must buy $60 and the maximum you can buy uh, $1250. And uh, coming to launch, uh, the launch price they plan for three dollars. That means uh, public sale is dollar and uh, launch is three. So if the project goes successful, you usually make two x if you were able to participate in the public sale. And uh, they plan to have the initial LP locked. That's good. And they do have the multi-signature wallet. That is also good. Coming to team, uh, they have mentioned about their team. The Simon, uh, he is the Solidity developer. Martin is the front-end developer and uh, Daniel is graphic designer. Roxana is on the marketing. So if you would like to learn more about the project, as usual, uh, make sure you have access to their Twitter account. Currently, they have around 640 followers. It's on the lower end compared to the other projects. Their Discord has uh, 5,000 members. That's not bad. That's good. And um, let's understand what do they have here. Yeah, they have provided some uh, public pre-sale information. So that is on uh, April 2nd, 8 p.m. UTC is the public pre-sale. That means anyone can access it. If you are whitelist member, you will have access to the pre-sale a little bit earlier. And uh, as we mentioned, the, the buying price for the token is dollar. And um, the minimum is 0 0.15, 15 BNB is this one. And they plan to launch their uh, app on April 10th. And the launch day is on April 17th with $3 as their um, launch price. Right? And coming to KYC, they say that we still want to do the KYC. We don't know yet. We can do it before the pre-sale. But we can assure you, guarantee that we'll certainly do it before the launch. So they don't have the KYC yet. And uh, I don't see any mention of multi-sig and audit. So I would uh, please uh, use caution um, when uh, doing your own research and if you're planning to invest. And uh, just wanted to bring this information. And let's understand if they have anything in the FAQ. I think most of that uh, we already covered it. So this video and uh, have a nice day. Thank you.